Hey guys, so I uh, hiked out a few miles from camp and uh, down here by Mission Creek. Um, pretty cool spot, bunch of hiker trash. Trash. Especially these guys. The Brotherhood of Trash. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go uh, probably 10 or so more miles. More than that, I don't know. I just walk. I'm just here for the walking. So, yeah, we're going to do as many as we can today, trying to get into Big Bear on Sunday. So, um, yeah, going to charge up this hill, as always. So, catch you guys later. I need a better rock. There he is. Oh. Good morning guys, uh, out here at mile 250 or 236 or so, um, had a good night last night, uh, we were going to camp at 235, there was just a massive group so we went on a little bit further, um, and today we're going to crush out like 30, 20 miles or so and hopefully get as close to Big Bear as we can so we can uh, get in early on Sunday, and uh, yeah, going to be an awesome climb today. Um, getting up to an area called the Onyx Summit. Um, beautiful area up there, so I'm excited to knock this climb out and uh, get up there. So, talk to you guys in a bit. Do we need to meditate? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start us off with the first chapter before we uh, bust out Tobias. God's first temples. A few minutes ago, every tree was excited, bowing to the roaring storm, waving, swirling, tossing their branches in glorious enthusiasm like worship. But though to the outer ear these trees are now silent, their songs never cease, every hidden cell is throbbing with music and life, every fiber thrilling like harp strings while incense is ever flowing from the balsam bells and leaves. <clears throat> no wonder the hills and groves were God's first temples, and the more they are cut down and hewn into cathedrals and churches, the farther off and dimmer seems the Lord. The same may be said of stone temples, yonder to the eastward of our camp grove, stands one of nature's cathedrals, hewn from the living rock, almost conventional in form, about 2,000 feet high, nobly adorned with spires and pinnacles, thrilling under floods of sunshine as if alive like a grove temple in a well-named cathedral rock. The God dwelling in the temple of the body at last becomes the temple itself. Vivekananda. Lip and like teeth, teeth? but just your top tooth. <laughs> yeah, see, when you hit your teeth is when you're messing up. <laughs> I don't know. It's fucking... I'm totally imagining one of those in, like, the fucking Australian, like, what are those things called? <laughs> yeah. Got my boy Dharma Camel on the harmonica.
Yeah. 